HUD activated. Commence briefing. Approaching Haran. Data on the subject. Kadir Suleiman. A local political figure hired to maintain order after the outbreak. His brother Hassan died in a disease-related incident before we were able to evacuate him. Suleiman blamed the GRE for Hassan's death. He stole a highly sensitive file which became his bargaining chip against the GRE, with instructions to publicize it if anything happened to him. Data on the subject. The stolen file. Jump in 10 seconds. It details the incomplete process of synthesizing a cure for the virus. If implemented in its current state, the produced substance may be extremely toxic. Now. Also, the file contains full description of the Varian structure. Any attempt to use it would result in countless lives lost. It must be recovered. Further information, current status. Suleiman sent the file to an associate unknown to us, with instructions to publicize it at his command at any time. To counter that, we instituted a citywide communication jam, preventing him from publicizing the file. Your GRE-issued radio can overcome that jamming. It is your lifeline. Do not lose it. Suleiman has since gone underground and begun using a different name. We have reason to believe he now leads one of the two main factions operating within the city. You are to find Suleiman and locate the stolen file in order to save mankind from a disaster of unprecedented proportions. I told you that wasn't a normal drop shoot. Break his legs, then take him to rides. Back up! All of you! Stop! Loud noises draw them! Fall back! Fall back! You sleep for three days like a dead man, then scare children? Off to a great start, 31. Where am I? In paradise, can't you see? Okay, enough joking around. Head to room 190. The boss will brief you. What do you mean, 31? Ask the boss. Thirty-one. That's your number. 
Because of this guy? Quiet. Oh, fuck quiet. Now he's gonna get Amir's anti-scene. We're just getting picked off one by one. I'm looking for the boss. Is he in there? Oh, you're 31. Go on in. for the... Are you the boss? What, am I too young? You got the problem with my age? No, I... You wanted to talk to me? That's better. Do you remember anything? Know what you are? Yeah, I can, I can see this is some kind of shelter. We call it the Tower. Brecken and his runners put it all together a couple of months ago, and we've been here ever since. Hunting airdrops, scavenging, and rescuing people. Yeah, I, I wanted to thank that girl. Good. Because if not for her, you'd already be chewing somebody's knee bone. Your antison was totally crushed, by the way. Only thing Jade could salvage was your radio. Oh, great. So can I get that back, please? Actually, I think I need it more than you do. Believe me, pal, that's not the case. Fine. Take it. You know my runners put their lives in danger? For guys like you. So now you take the Anderson meant for someone else, and you won't even share your gear with us? I don't have time to deal with your bullshit. I've lost contact with one of our guys, thanks to the fucked up radios we're stuck with. Do something for me, would you? I don't want to see you or your precious radio anymore, so go be useful somewhere else. We don't tolerate lazy assholes here in the tower. Hey, be fair, I'm not, I'm not lazy, I'm just, hey, boss. Save it. That last guy I mentioned, he's only on the 13th floor, but he might as well be trapped in a mine cave-in. Come back later. And I'm not the boss. Too young, remember? I'm Rahim. Brecken's in charge here. I'm not lazy, you little shit. You know this? Where do you think you're going? The 13th floor. I'm getting some stuff for Raheem. 13? Shit. That's gonna be some dirty work. But we all got to pull our weight around here, huh? Jesus. How many people died here? Here. Where were you? We've been waiting for your report. It's been over 70 hours. I lost my radio for a while. Don't worry, my cover's intact. No contact with the tower's leader yet. Unable to confirm identity. I'm taking steps to blend in. Acknowledged. Time is of the essence, Crane. Remember that. There's, there's one more thing. I, I got bitten. I've shown no symptoms, but the people here say I'm infected. Then you'd better get your hands on some antisent ASAP. Help! Had you. Help! Somebody! What the hell? I cut my arm getting away from him. Oh, God. You had to kill him, didn't you? God damn it! That was... That was my brother. 
I came down to see him and... Easy, easy. It's all right now. I'll, I'll get help. Hey, Raheem, this is Crane. I'm down here on 13. Listen, this guy of yours got fucked up pretty bad getting away from a zombie. Oh, shit. 31? You went after Mark? Is it... is it safe down there? Yeah, well, it's safe enough now. Okay, don't move. I'm sending Lena downstairs. Hey, hold still. Lena will be here any minute. Goss! You've got to find some goss! Oh, and alcohol! Combine them. That will stop the bleeding. <laughs> Please hurry! I try to stay calm, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, I think that's everything I'm gonna find. Let's give this a shot. Okay, who's hurt? He's bleeding pretty bad. Let me see him. Goes and alcohol, huh? Pretty primitive, but it'll work. Thanks for the help. I'll take care of him from here. Well done, 31. I just want to help out and repay you guys for what you did for me. Well, good. Come find me, and we'll talk about how you can do that. Taken care of. Piece of cake. What else you got for me? Well, let me think. Rahim, you are just smart enough to be dangerous, you know that? Omar told me about your plans for the nest. Explosive charges? Really? What? Explosives? Oh, I never please. Said that. You can't tell a convincing lie to save your life. I know what I'm doing. Yeah? You think you can't die? You're not my mom. No, I'm not. Our mom's dead. So you might want to be a little nicer to me since I'm the only family you have left. Especially now that Amir is gone. You're Jade, right? Right. I just wanted to thank you for what you did for me and, and tell you how sorry I am for your loss. I owe you and Amir my life. Yeah, you do. You want to return the favor? Keep my dipshit brother from killing himself. No explosives, Rahim. So... So, is that enough? Do I get to talk to Brecken now? First, go change your clothes. I left some new ones for you in your room. You're in 194. Something wrong with what I'm wearing? You need something that fits the job Brecken wants you to do. 
Call me when you've changed. Okay, Raheem, I'm ready. Where do I find Brecken? Not so fast, 31. If you're going to earn your keep, we have to find out if you've got the skills. So get your ass up to the gym. It's on the top floor. Just a couple flights up. How are zombies like computers? What kind of stupid question is this? Raheem, I don't see you. Where are you? Those. Well, what are you waiting for? Get over here. Welcome to our gym. First things first, you've got to learn how to run. What do you mean, learn how to run? Just do what I say, all right? Now, jump down to the very bottom. What are you nuts? I'd kill myself. Don't be a wimp. Oh, come on, you can't be serious. Watch this. Raheem! My leg! Jesus, don't move! I'll get help! Ha! I was just fucking with you! Son of a bitch! What? You can't take a joke? Come on! Get your ass down here! Christ on a crutch. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> it's a rush, isn't it? But don't blow your load just yet. There's more. To survive outside, you got to take advantage of the terrain. Most eaters suck at climbing, so the harder the terrain is, the better for you. I've got some typical situations set up for you. Let's see how you handle them. Sometimes it's better to crawl through the low, narrow passages. Eaters will have a tough time following you. down once you start running. Outside, if you stop, you're probably dead. Not bad for a noob. All right, get up on that scaffold. And don't fall, because there sure as hell ain't no net. That's my favorite. Cat grab and muscle up. You won't survive outside for 10 minutes if you can't do that. Hardly. 
The closest I ever came to this was running track in high school. <laughs> well, then you're a fucking prodigy. Never seen anything like it. <laughs> what? What is happening to me? Crane? Shit. Shit. Crane, oh, shit. talk to me. What's going on? Something went wrong. Rahim, what just happened to me? Oh shit. I bet you're having your first seizure. Just get back over here. Raheem, what the fuck was that? Does this mean I'm... I'm turning? Most likely, no. At least not yet. Seizures remind you that you're infected. You better go see Dr. Zera, though. He'll check you out, probably give you a shot of antizin. Before you head out to see Zera, talk to the Quartermaster. He'll, uh, gear you up so you can go outside without getting your head bitten off. All right, they've given me an actual job, and nobody suspects I'm not who I say I am. So far, so good. And once Dr. Zara helps me manage these symptoms I'm dealing with, I'll be even better. Oh, you're the new scout. Rahim radioed me about you. Yeah, that's me. Name's Crane. I'm not gonna bother learning your name till you survive a few days, but here, this is for you. By the way, word around the tower is you're just another deadbeat in line for food or antizin. By which I mean, the people here don't much like you. But don't blame them. It's easy to get paranoid when you're isolated. And since somebody's jamming communications to the outside, there's plenty of paranoia to go around. Whole damn city with nobody to call for help but ourselves. You bring me some supplies from the airdrops, though. And you'll see people change their tunes in a hurry. That shit's a game changer. Uh, thanks. I'll bear that in mind. Listen, is there anything else? I'm in a bit of a rush. Also, if you're looking to get more popular, you can try helping folks. Do a few favors, they might like you more. Might even find a woman. Keep you warm at night. <laughs> Okay, new guy, be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zera set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced-in plane court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sights. And try not to make too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. I hope those rotting fuckers never figure out how to climb on top of a van. Doctor? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Damn it. Uh, so I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms here. Sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So th there's no cure? 
It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now, but you see, I've been running tests on both antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible, definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes, I think so. Uh, now, where did I put that injector? And who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my earlier experiments had borne fruit, I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case, all right, I'm quite busy, so on your way now. What was I doing? Brecken sent most of his best people to protect... Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. I thought I'd to hold you. For a while. Which is good, because I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. Hey, Spike. I'm Crane. <laughs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with Antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without Antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day, because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Antizen drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, Brecken won't survive the night. And if he doesn't come back with Antizen, we are lost. Before you head out there, grab some firecrackers. Made them myself. They make a fine distraction if you get in trouble. Outside, I'm working for Spike. You're Crane, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Zephyr and Mamar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. All right, I'm on it.
Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. for this guy. Just give me a second. this doctor, scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe zones. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Got it. Infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops when they can't reach you. They're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards are easily distracted. Done with the car spike. Keep on like that, you just might make it. The next truck's still spot, and I should have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? You can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. <laughs> What a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the affected quite the sunburn.
Okay, lights are all set. You waited for the next one then. Better hurry. Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here. Plus, the safe zones and some of my traps are down, too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP. I've got the substation reset, but if the grid's shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there.
What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? <laughs> Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Okay, give me a sec. They just as soon shoot you as look at you. Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Oh, shit, is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. Some of them are clean. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to biters, and then Ryza's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right? Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. And Lena's right. You need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. Look, 
There's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. I mean, the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Ghazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Ghazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Ghazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Ghazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. With most of the runners out of action, Brecken wants the scouts to take their place. That means me. We're supposed to go for the next airdrop, right before sunset. Jade will be showing me the ropes. Yeah, that won't be awkward at all. Crane here. Report. Tower boss is named Brecken, and he's definitely not your man. The other likely suspect is this warlord, basically. Local guy. Calls himself Rise. He's hoarding Antizen and then gouging the hell out of anybody who wants to buy some. I'm on a mission to get Antizen from the airdrop. If I don't succeed, they'll have to come up with something else. Acknowledged. Good job, Crane. You're doing well. Stay on task, and we'll be in touch. Be sure to call us immediately if and when you get that Antizen. Jade, I'm getting close to the drop zone. Good. Find some shelter and wait. Most of the drops seem to fall exactly... And there's a crate. It looks intact. I'll check out what's inside. Thank <laughs> you. 
Damn it. Nothing here. Did you see that? Yeah, two drops. They landed elsewhere, unfortunately, but you're not that far away. Get to those crates before anyone else does. Jade Rice's men got here first. Fuck! Okay, don't try to fight them. Just find the second one. Look for the smoke from the flare. The crate should be close by. Jade, I'm almost there. I can do this.
Crane here. I'm about to recover an antizen drop. Good, Crane. This offers us a new strategy. Time to turn your attention to Rise. Listen closely. It's very possible that Rise is our man. So if you find an airdrop containing antizen, destroy it. What? Wh wh why It will force interaction with Rise. You can go under Brecken's auspices as an ambassador, if you will. But, but there are civilians depending on this stuff. Our plan is focused on the greater good. Remember that. Jade, I'm at the airdrop. There's no antis in here. Done? Fuck! Fuck! All right. Get back here and be careful. The nightmares are awake. Don't let them see. Oh, shit. They must have heard me. Peace. Now I know how Brecken must have felt running at night. It is no picnic. Gotta report to him and tell him I don't have any antis in. Lying to everyone stinks, but I know the GRE is working for the greater good. I mean, we need Anderson. I know, but buying from Rise? You can't be serious. For God's sakes, I'll go. I'm not scared. Absolutely not. We've discussed that already. No, we didn't discuss it. You just decided that I'll I... go. Are you serious? Well, this Rice guy has never seen my face before. Clean slate, right? Could you guys give Crane and me the room, please? Be you sure you're up for this? Has to be done, doesn't it? Well, I'm not gonna argue. Race's place is over here. Just find out what this will cost us and come back in one piece. is so desperate he's ready to deal with the devil himself, Rise. 
And since I'm supposed to determine whether or not Rice is the one who stole the GRE's secret document, well, this is the perfect opportunity. Jade? Yeah, I copy. Something wrong? No, no, it's um. Listen, Crane. We all appreciate what you're doing. And I know you're doing it to redeem yourself. Because Amir died saving your life. Look, I'm doing it because if we don't get antis in from Rice, people will start to die. You know, I met Amir right after the outbreak. I didn't know him for that long, but he was the best, most decent man I've ever known. But I just want you to know that I don't blame you. Amir knew the risk. And Crane, we know that you too are taking a risk to do this for us. I... Look, Jade, we'll talk when I get back with the Antizen, okay? Okay. Just... Just come back in one piece, all right? Okay, Raheem, I'm here. Make sure they see you and know who you are. You don't want to sneak up on them. That's a good way to catch a bullet. Wish me luck, kid. Good luck, brother. You're going to need it. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hands up! What the fuck do you want? I'm here to see Rice. Brecken sent me. Brecken? That asshole in the tower? All right. What does he want? I've come to make a deal. <laughs> what kind of deal? The kind I make with Rice, not with his flunkies. All right. Let him through. This ought to be entertaining. How long have we been friends, Osman? We have been friends for a very long time. That is why I'm so surprised that you would steal from me. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Now I give you a choice. Very simple. Your right hand or your left. <laughs> left! <laughs> Was that my left or your left? You have the look of the tower about you. What do you want? I'm here to make a deal. A deal. For fantasy, no doubt. Desperate times. And what do you offer in return? Hmm? Your services? Your loyalty? Perhaps I should take both. Talk to Karim. He's one of ours. Do what he asks of you, and Rise will consider giving your people some antazin. Understood? I don't seem to have a choice. Perceptive. I met Rice, and Jade's right, he's a psychopath. He's also the GRE's rogue operative. Now I've gotta cooperate with this piece of shit. Not only because of my mission, but also because he's got a ton of antizen stockpiled. Tower Trash. There you are. Rice said you'd be coming by. I'm Karim. Crane. An American. I have an uncle there. Lives in Texas. You from Texas? You a cowboy? I'm from Chicago. Okay, Al Capone. We'll be in constant contact over the radio. That way I can make sure you get where you need to go. 
And where's that exactly? You're going to be climbing antenna towers and switching on shortwave radio modulators. Most of my men are too slow, too fat, or too drunk to climb a tower like that without killing themselves. And if I do this, I'll get the antis in? That's between you and Rice. I know better than to speak for him. Just don't fail. He doesn't handle disappointment very well. Just met a guy named Kareem. He's like Rice's major domo, I guess. Or number one flunky at the very least. Kareem's sending me to fix some antennas for Rice. Nothing better than being an errand boy. Just met Rise. There's no question, that's Suleiman. Guy's a psychopath. He's gone from ruthless politician to fucking warlord. Is he aware of your affiliation with us? No, he thinks I'm just a guy from the tower. In fact, he's making me jump through hoops before he'll give me any antizen. Acknowledged. Continue to do as he asks. Remember, we need that file. Great. Crane out. What exactly am I doing? Radio communication has been pretty spotty in the quarantine. These modulators will help boost the signal so Rise can communicate with Outpost at the far reaches of town. Well, that's a benefit for everyone, not just Rise. Perhaps, but the Emperor must monitor his empire. <laughs> Kareem, I'm at the first antenna. If the power's not on, you'll have to turn it on. There'll be a switch in the small building at the antenna's base. 
because this fucked up infected motherfucker with guts hanging out of his mouth just spit a bunch of toxic snot at me. Shit. Kareem, someone already scavenged this thing for parts. There's nothing up here to switch on. Fuck. I was afraid of that. All right. Head to the next antenna tower. It's not too far from there. Just use the zip line and head east. You'll see it. Kareem, what do I do if the second transmitter's trashed? The better question is, what will you do if you disappoint Rice? And the answer is probably, die horribly. <sighs> Kareem, I'm at the second antenna tower. And the fence is electrified. I think someone's inside. That will be Alexei. Probably his son, Christoph. I find them tiresome. Don't let them stand in your way. You've got to get inside and turn on the transmitter. <laughs> what 
the fuck do you want? I need to climb the tower. Why the hell would you want to do that? For Rise. He asked me to. Rice? <laughs> you don't look like one of his crew. Oh, fine. I'll just radio back and tell Rise that you wouldn't let me through. What? Fuck. No, no, no. I didn't say that. You want to climb? Fine. Go, go. I won't do this anymore. Will you keep your voice down? I don't care who hears me. Christoph, what's wrong with you? We're trying to stay alive here. That, these guys are killers. Yes, they're murderers. So be burned for them. worth it. thing's still intact. Let's see if it was worth the hassle. Hey, Kareem. Second transmitter's up and running. Is it working? Kareem, do you hear me? Loud and clear. Nice job. You know the way back, right? Right. to know. My name is Troy. I lead a small group of survivors over in Sector Zero. We call ourselves the Embers. Sector Zero is completely sealed off. Mr. Crane, until you restored radio communication, we didn't know if anyone else in the city was alive. I just wanted to let you know how grateful we are. You've given us a small measure of hope. Uh, well, I'm happy to help. If there's ever any way we can help you, Mr. Crane, Please, don't hesitate to ask. Job's done. Now it's time to get back to Rice and get that antizen. Well, you not only did the job Karim asked of you, but you made it back in one piece. Bravo. Can I get some antizen now? Did you think I would be satisfied so easily? You still have plenty to prove. Look, we really need the drugs. Let me have them now, and then I'll come back and do whatever. You'll get Antazine when I say you get it, not one second before. But, as I have established, I am not unreasonable. Do all that I ask of you, and I will give you not one, but two crates of Antazine. <sighs> all right, fine. What do you want me to do? 
This will be different from your exploits on the antennas. It will require a bit more persuasion. The imposing of one's will, the creation of one's own rules, that is what makes a man. Do you live by your own rules, Crane? Or are you merely someone else's puppet? I believe I know the answer. Talk to Karim before I decide you are no longer worth the trouble. My friend, Rice likes you, I can tell. Yeah, how? Because you are still among the living. The task at hand is as easy as can be. You simply have to make a few pickups from some nearby settlements. Which ones? The first is Jafar's wheel station. It's just east of here. But bear in mind, not everyone you talk to today will be in a cooperative state of mind. I'm sure you can be convincing, though, no? I can't say I'm surprised that Rise went back on his word. But the GRE won't let me just walk away. Plus, if there's any chance that we can get that Antis in, I have to try. So this time he wants me to gather protection money from the surrounding settlements. And after this, he better hand over the drugs. Crane here. Report. Another job for Rice. This one's pretty dirty. He's forcing me to collect the money he's extorting from a nearby village. Just do what he asks and stay close to him. Remember what's at stake. Yeah, Crane out. Hey, Kareem, I'm by the wheel station. Talk you long enough. Get the job done and make it fast. This is just the first stop. You Jafar? Oh, I understand all. My name isn't important. What's important is that Rise sent me, and that you owe him some money. I've never seen you before. For all I know, you're just some random asshole. Fuck off. I'll tell you what. How about I break both your legs and drag you through the streets back to Rice's place, huh? And then he can explain to you that you should have cooperated. Okay, okay. Jesus. You are one of Rice's thugs. You guys are the only ones who'd act this shitty. Here, here's your money. Take it. And if I have to come back here... You won't get any more attitude. Mi casa, su casa. Just don't hurt me, all right? Hi. Kareem, it's me. So I just threatened to break an old man's legs. And it worked, didn't it? Next, you collect a tribute from the fisherman's village. Head east, to the tunnel entrance. Their messenger always meets us there. Crane, how you doing, mate? I'm... running errands for Rise. He wields a lot of power, scares a lot of people. Damn right he does. Listen, mate, time's getting short. We're almost out of answers in. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm getting worried. I'm doing the best I can out here, Brecken. I know, I know. I understand. I just want you to be aware of the stakes. I'm infected too, remember? Believe me, I'm motivated. All right, all right. Here's hoping you can make it back to the tower soon.
Scream, I just saw something I've never seen before. This huge, bloated infect that just fucking exploded. Yeah, we call them bombers. Some of our guys use them to kill other infected. Shoot them, and they take out everything in a three meter radius. Kidding me? Keep your distance and you'll be fine. But what about the courier? Was he there? No, I didn't, I didn't see anybody, just fucking zombies. All right, you'll have to go to the village directly, I suppose. Look for a man named Gersel. Okay, Kareem, I'm outside the village, but there's a whole horde of infected in there. So, clear them out. We get paid for protection. Do some protecting. I'm here on Rice's behalf. I'm supposed to pick something up. Oh my god, that's one of Rice's men. What do I do? Just tell him to go away. Do it nice and maybe he'll leave us alone. Better yet, send it to Gersel. He'll know what to do. Please, we don't know anything. Go, talk to Gersel. He lives about the storm. Hey, anybody in there? Shh, not so loud. You'll draw the monsters. Look, I got rid of them, but you better reinforce that gate before more show up. You got rid of them? All of them? Rye sent me. Are you Gersel? Oh, you were for Rise. Uh, I should have known this was too good to be true. You've taken enough. You can't have any more frickin' tell him. Ayla, please. Just let me talk to the man. You can't just push us around like this. Firkin gonna kick your ass. Do it, Firkin. Kick his ass. For God's sake. Look, I don't want any trouble. But we already paid this month. You're gonna bleed us dry. That is entirely not my problem. Rise wants his payment, so you make the payment or things get bad for you. And your woman. You can't threaten us. Kick his ass, Firkin. Give me a break, Isla. All right, fine, here. This is all of it. Ugh. A real man would have kicked his ass. Yeah, I'll leave you to it. Sounds like you have bigger problems than money. Okay, Kareem, I got Gersel's money. I fucking hate myself now, but I got the money. The self-hatred fades eventually. Just one pickup to go. At the ferry station on the old pier. There's a ferry? 
there was until the Navy sent it to the bottom of the bay. Dozens of people were stranded there, waiting for another one that never came. Are there any boats left? Yes, but any boat that tries to leave the bay gets blown right out of the water. I'm here to make a pickup for Rise. Back already? We just paid off you blood suckers. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just trying to get by like everybody else. Yeah? So are we. Rise said he'd protect us if we paid him. But so far, all he's done is take our money. There's no protection, just threats. You any different? Look, all I want to do is get this over with. What's it gonna take, huh? Don't need to point out how easy it would be to set this entire place on fire? Jesus Christ. You people are fucking monsters. All my money's in that satchel. Take it and get the fuck out. Hey, for what it's worth, this isn't something I want to do. I'd rather be helping you guys. And yet you're still doing it, aren't you? Okay, Kareem. I made the collection at the ferry station. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to hell. Join the club. Now, come back and claim your prize. Good job today. <sighs> Copy, what's wrong? Someone's turned on the 18th floor. We're doing our best to contain the situation, but... We can't sugarcoat this train. We need Anderson right fucking now! Rise has promised me two crates, Brecken. Two crates. I'm doing this shit as fast as I can, I swear. Just... God, just hurry, please! <clears throat> Crane, how close are you? I don't know, about halfway back, I guess. Good. I need you to make a quick detour. Uh, why? One of our patrols went off the grid somewhere near the market. How is that my problem? I'm making it your problem. See if you can find them, or don't bother coming back. Kareem, I think I found your lost patrol. Something ripped them limb from limb. Search the bodies. Look for some blueprints in a small envelope. And don't damage them. They're worth more than all those- Holy shit! Did you find the envelope? Not yet. Wait a sec. Okay, I got it. Good. Bring it back to me right away. You're going to be a hero around here. Hey, you! Come over here! I'm on the antenna, do you see me? I'm up here! I need your help! So, it's safe to say that Rice isn't the most popular person in town, huh? Better to be feared than loved if one cannot be both. 
Uh, Machiavelli. Correct. Smart fellow, that one. <laughs> Right, here are the blueprints. Excellent. You're a lot more dependable than most of these drunks. Rise is waiting for you. Maybe we can work together again sometime. God, I hope not. If you show them compassion, they will see it as weakness. If they make you up, they will take your whole arm. Understand? I give you shelter, I give you bread, women, bullets, and you can do a simple task. I should send every one of you to the pit. Ah, the tower lackey returns. Do you have something for me, friend? Yes, I do. Now it's time for you to give me what you promised. Two crates of Andesin. I think not. Your loyalty to the tower is nothing but blind obedience, Crane. A coward's submission to false hierarchies. You follow their rules as thoughtlessly as you follow mine, like a good little dog. Look, we had a deal. <sighs> Your people need the Antezine. Now, more than ever, I would surmise. But a man who follows someone else's rules is no man at all. Here, I will allow you this much. You promised me two crates of it. This is only five vials. If you want more, I present you with an opportunity. The athlete, the Scorpion, Jade Aldemir, she's one of your number. Bring her to me. I have an arena where men fight for our amusement. I would have this Scorpion fight for us. I'm curious how long it will take for someone of her caliber to uh, break. What? No. No, forget it. I'm not doing it. I hear no conviction in your voice, Crane. You have not yet made your choice, I can tell. Will you be a dog and save the dwellers of the tower? Or will you be a man and save the maiden? Go and think about it. Shit. here. Report. Look, I'm no longer cooperating with Rise. He wanted me to kidnap Jade Aldemir and dump her with him so he can make her fight in his pit. Yes, and? Was that it? What do you mean, was that it? I'm not a fucking human trafficker. You seem to have forgotten how much is riding on this file, Crane. If Rise wants one girl, then give her to him. You'll be there to keep an eye on her, won't you? What the... What the fuck kind of humanitarian outfit are you guys? And for that matter, if this project file can save the world, why keep it a fucking secret? We're not paying you to be insubordinate, Crane. Get this done. Fuck you, asshole. Heads up, everyone. This is Alfie. We've just lost gas at the tower, and as far as I can tell, the whole city has too. Any guess what happened? None. And our gas man, Jeff, up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Make maybe, definitely, and get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. 
Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antisen. It's the ground. There's a guy in orange waiting for it. There's a lot to be done around the tower. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antizen I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. This is where we get the announcements about the antisyn drops. And they've just stopped. They will kill this man! I froze. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running... Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know who my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way. A better way. Fine. I'll wait but not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good. Raheem? Raheem, what are you doing up here? Hey, Crane. Can I trust you? <laughs> How much you had to drink, kid? Can I or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? See that skyscraper? The scout found a volatile nest in there. We take that out, and then running missions at night, we could totally do that. So I'm thinking, if we planted some explosives, Oh, Jesus. Raheem, you're not still on that. Crane, we have to do this. As long as that nest is there, we'll never be able to gather up enough antis. It would work. We make a good team. Ah! Shit, oh my... Ah! Don't drop me! Don't drop me! Oh, fuck. <laughs> See? Told you we make a good team. Look, Raheem, we don't have any explosives. I mean, none. The closest thing to what you're talking about are Spike's firecrackers. It, that, it's impossible. You don't know what it's like. All I can do is watch. Sit on my ass and watch everything happen and do nothing. I don't want to die here, Crane. Not like this, not helpless. If I go out, I'd rather go out doing something. What's this? We set to fly out on Sunday. They quarantined us on Thursday. 
I already had my bags packed. I'll... Okay, look, I'll keep my eyes open, okay? If there's some way we can make this happen. Whatever. Ugh. This is Crane, do you copy? What do you want, Crane? I want you to start the antizen drops again, at least near the tower. These people need help. We put you in Haran to find our file, not to play Mother Teresa. Or does this mean you've reconsidered Ryza's proposal? Perhaps Miss Aldermir would even be willing to cooperate, test her skills in a new environment. You start giving us some antizen and then... And then we'll talk about what Ryze wants. Oh, it's us now, is it? Well, I'm afraid your request is out of the question in any case. Things have gotten a bit strained with the Ministry. Resuming the airdrops would not be politically advantageous at the moment. You assholes take the fucking cake, you know that? You and your fucking file. Look, I'll locate the file for you, but I'm gonna take a good long look at it before I decide what to do about it. Loud and clear, what can I do for you? I don't know how much time we have, so the short version. I need your help. Rice has turned an abandoned school into a supply dump. And I think it may be where he's storing his antizen. If you and I sneak in there, we could get all the meds the tower needs. Are you with me? Yeah, I'm with you. Great. Look for me in one of the boxcars on the train trestle near the school. Okay, and listen, Jade. If we don't find that Antizen, I'll need to talk to you about something. About what? Another option, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Right now, let's see what we can find in that school. Jade knows where we might be able to get more Antizen. I'm supposed to meet her in one of the boxcars near the school. boxes out of that place for hours. We need to get a closer look. What's in the boxes? Good question. If it's Antizen, we need it. Bandits are inside. I only saw the ones that went in after Tahir, but I'm sure there's more. We should use different entrances. We'll cover more ground, and we'll make less noise moving separately. <sighs> A 
Another dead end. Okay. Shit. You'll have to come in the way I did. I just hope we can find another way out if we have to. Head for the outbuilding on the roof. Saw Tahir at the school. He and his men were hauling all kinds of stuff out of there. The hell are they up to? Anyway, the fucker executed some survivors right in front of us. Nearly saw us. Time to sneak into that building. I hope there's some ants in there somewhere. Okay, Jade, I'm inside. Check the classrooms. That's the most likely place for them to store supplies. They should be marked somehow. Military jargon is pretty straightforward, so it shouldn't be hard to notice.
get through that way. Jade, no luck with any antizin. Looks like we'll have to talk about that other option. I still have classroom C to search, though. The basement's pretty big. If 
Find the key. I'll meet you down there. Here, would you? Yeah, sure. God, Crane, you're such an oaf. Why don't you just stick your head out the door and shout, Here we are, come get us! Hey, sometimes there's nothing wrong with a direct approach. Holy shit. That's plastic explosives, right? Listen, you take this stuff and get back to the tower. I'll deal with these assholes. Don't be ridiculous. We'll fight them together. And risk letting them keep this much ordinance? No, just go. I got this. Meet me back at the tower. Promise me you won't let Rahim near that high. What? Yeah, of course. I promise. I promise. Just go. Shit, Jade and I went looking for Antizen and found explosives instead. Now we need to get the hell out of here before Tahir comes back. You 
said we needed to talk about other options if we didn't find any antizen. And we will, but right now let's deal with these explosives, okay? Okay, listen. I'll give the explosives to Saeed and you talk to Rahim. Make sure he stays away from that hive. Will do. Don't worry. Don't worry? Right. Jade called me. She's taking the explosives to Saeed. She wanted me to talk to Rahim about the volatile hive and how she wants him to stay the hell away from it. Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But it's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah. He's down in sick bay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they'd been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh... Bolters. Super fast infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks.
Come here. I've got a special deal. What's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. Demons, there must be angels. Ah, uh, Crane, come in, come in. Did you get the samples I asked for? Excellent, excellent. I was just telling Dr. Camden about... Hello, you. Mr. Crane. Glad to have you working with us. You uh, sound like an impressive individual. Interesting stuff what passes for blood in this creature. Photosensitive. Quite deadly if used on a weapon, I'd wager. But I digress. My last bit of reagent here, and a reserve vial of, oh my word, this tissue, it's testing positive for the recombined virus. Camden, do you know what this means? The meat experiment worked. When I dose the meat samples with the altered strain, it's had an effect. This could explain all the different mutations. But I can't. Camden could. He has the equipment, but we have no way to get the research to him. Well, you can talk to him on the radio. Why not share the info that way? There's too much data, Crane. It would take years. We'd both be dead and gone before he finished. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink. What if I delivered this stuff to you, Dr. Camden? By hand. The data and the tissue samples both. Yeah, but it could mean a cure, right? You don't know how much this means, dear boy. To me, to all of us. I'll contact you when everything's ready. You must go now. Much to do. Much to do. Wait, you what? Fucking hell, Raheem, that was my job! Oh, right, because you're more qualified to handle explosives than I am. You're just a goddamn tourist! But listen, we messed up. Messed up bad. All right, what happened? Where are you? 
We're on the overpass, and it's all going to shit. Listen, head to the train yard. Find a place to hide. I'm on my way. Omar, behind you! Behind you! Raheem! Raheem! God damn it. Brecken. Brecken, do you copy? Yeah, I copy. What is it? I'm on my way to get Raheem. Raheem? He's here in the tower. No, he's not. He and Omar went to blow that nest, and now they're in trouble. Like, what? Fuck! Where'd they get the explosives? Well, I... Look, I stole them from Rise. Oh, Jesus, I just crushed. I'm close. I'll get him to safety, Brecken. You damn well better. You save him, you hear me? You save him so I can kick his fucking ass! Does Jake know about this? No, she doesn't. For God's sake, don't tell her. She'll go out looking for him, and I don't need her getting herself killed too. God damn it! <laughs> Team, where the hell are you? Brecken, it's me. I found Omar's body on the overpass, but no trace of Raheem. Shit. Any idea where he'd gone? I told him to hide in the train yard. You find him, you hear me? That little bastard better be alive. Omar's body on the overpass. 
Raheem must have gotten away. At least I hope so. I told him to hide in the train yard, so there's a chance he's still alive. They'll blow in less than five minutes. Oh shit, kid, you're bleeding. Huh? Oh, I, I cut myself. It's not fuck. Just, just plant the bombs. All right, don't move. You got it? I'll, I'll be right back. There's a sewer entrance here in the terminal, near the west wall. Use that tunnel. It'll take you straight to the hive. Okay, I'm back on the surface. See that big ass covert over there, right? Head through it. Once you get into the building, head up the ramp and get up to the floor above. You need, you need to put the bomb on one of the big support columns. Okay, first one set. Okay. Pay attention. Find some stairs. And get to the next floor up. You're looking for another code. Like the first one. Got it.
work, kid! Raheem? Hey, do you copy? Kid, I did it! Ah, oh, Raheem! Oh, you should have seen it! Oh, God. The whole damn building came down! Oh, shit! Oh, no, 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 Raheem, stop! Raheem, it's me! It's me, kid, it's Crane! Oh, Jesus! Raheem, stop! So. Fucking bite wound. Oh. Oh. You goddamn stupid fucking kid. Oh, oh. oh God, Jade. Oh. Crane, do you copy? What's going on? Brecken. Raheem. Raheem is dead. Jade. Not yet. Raheem's dead. He lied to me about that bite because he wanted me to blow up that fucking building. I don't know what the hell I'm gonna tell Jade. How did he die? I had to kill him. It was too late. He, he turned. I had no choice, I swear. But, but he was my friend, too. He was the best one I had here. I know, I know. He frustrated the shit out of me sometimes. I loved him like he was my own kin. Another dead friend. Another dead brother. I trusted him. I trusted him with those explosives. God, maybe if I didn't leave him there, he'd... he'd still be alive. I... I... Oh, no. Jade! Jade! Wait! Jade, God damn it! Just... just give her time. She needs to grieve. Whoa! Sam! Shit! Get down there! We can't let them take it!
There's no one inside. They took Zera and drove away. Shit, Brecken. Zera's been kidnapped. His trailer's on fire. God damn it! You see what happens when you fuck with Rice? You should never have hit that school. Some of our people spotted a big knot of bandits heading back to Rice's garrison. That's gotta be where they took Zara. You go there and you find him and you bring him back alive. You hear me? The garrison's shut down. The doors are sealed off. I don't think I can get in. Find another way in, then. Check the back. Don't take any stupid chances. Those bastards will rip you apart if they get the opportunity. an entrance. I can't say it was easy, though. I'm going in. Just keep your eyes open. Good luck in there. Who's there? Holy shit!
Rice's men kidnapped Zara, raided his truck, and took all his gear. I just hope they didn't take all his research as well. Train here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. The fuck? What the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been diminished. We are in charge now, and we have declared Haran a Code 1 target zone. Wait, 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 wait. Just hang on. You, you can't just carpet bomb this place. There are still hundreds of innocent people in here. Maybe thousands. Irrelevant. We're doing this to protect billions of lives. Surely you can understand that. Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Zara, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but you have 48 hours. You can't get us all!
Where are you, old friend? You asked for it. I couldn't find Zara inside. The building looks empty, though. There's an underground level. Maybe he's down there. This is important. I'm not safe anymore, obviously. But my research must not die with me. You're not gonna die, Doc, but right now we have to get out of here. So please, lower your voice. Oh, oh, yes, all right. But understand, my research, it must reach Dr. Camden. That's why I gave the packages to Jade. I know you said you would deliver them, but she was there, and time being of the essence. Doc? Uh -huh. So, it takes no more than a false hope of rescue to loosen the good doctor's lips. Hunt the scorpion down, spare no resource. With pleasure. And these two? What should we do with them? You'll never find her. Never. And I'll never talk. You'll get nothing from me. I'm less concerned with making you talk. 
doctor than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man! Give the doctor some first aid. And take Crane to the pit. <laughs> I found Zara, but before I could get him out of there, Rice ambushed us. I'm not sure what Rice has planned for us, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's not gonna be pleasant. Stand him up. Oh shit. Doc. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here. In a city of lies, you are the biggest liar of them all. What are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes, lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I... the corpses. Leave Crane. Yes, sir.
your first feeble attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane. Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive! For a walking dead man.
You have provided some quality entertainment for my men. Too bad it's a one-time performance. This will only prolong the inevitable. But try to make the best of it, eh? Let no one say I never gave you anything, Crane. Your skills no longer come as a surprise, Crane. The GRE selects its operatives well. <sighs> Shit. Lower the platform. is the sheerest folly. Allow me to demonstrate. Bassam, can you hear me? Loud and clear. Publish the file. Right away, sir. And there. Easy you, you just doomed thousands of innocent people. That's what you get with your fucking chaos. You don't know what was on that file, do you, Craig? You only prove my point for me. The GRE plans to weaponize the virus, not cure it. They're only interested in profit, not saving lives. And by following their rules, you have become their trained monkey. Pathetic. All right. Kill him. Get you out of here. Crane, save these people. They don't deserve all of this. You, give me that torch. <laughs> Crane! What are you swine waiting for? Shoot him! I'm sorry, Doc.
found a way out of the arena. Now I gotta haul ass back to Brecken. But Zara, he didn't make it. He said he gave his research to Jade before Rice grabbed him, so there might still be a shred of hope for a cure. you at the pier. Half of Rice's men are after you. Whatever you've done, it's really put them on the warpath. I have to talk to Jade. Zara, he gave her his research. She took it to Camden. Well, she tried to. Camden radioed that Rice's thugs had found his lab. So he flooded it with biters and barricaded himself in the middle. Now he's trapped. Then the connection failed. We haven't been able to raise him since. I'm going after her. How is she getting in? That part of town is sealed off. There's a group called the Saviors that smuggles people through. They have a den at Nico's bar in the cauldron near the highway. The contact's name is Cenk. Do, do you have enough runners to cover airdrops? The airdrops stopped 36 hours ago. There won't be any more. We're out of time, Crane. Shit. All right. I don't know if I can fix this, but I'm sure as hell gonna try. You know. Most men in your situation will crawl into a hole and hide. Hats off to you, mate, and good luck. Hey, Crane, here's your gear. Best regards from Kareem. <laughs> Kareem, huh? Uh, if you see him, thank him for me. I know you're busy, but this is urgent. <laughs> She called to thank me after I got the antenna towers working. You should contact her when you get there. Well, good idea. Thanks, Brecken. Right. You take care. Looking for the saviors. Don't know what you're talking about. I'm one of Brecken's men from the tower. I don't care where you're from. Get your ass out of here or I'll stop being so fucking polite. Listen, I know you're smuggling people out of the slums. There's a girl who came through. Jade? I think you better get the hell out of here. No, just listen. I cut Rise up and now his whole goddamn gang is after me. I could use some cooperation here. You? You're the one who chopped Rice's hand off? Yeah, and now I have to get to Sector Zero. What's your name? Crane. Well, Crane, you're in for some heartbreak if you think going to Sector Zero will get you off Rice's shit list, but wait here. I got a guy here who claims he's the one who took Rice's hand off. Crane. Yeah, that's what he said. You? Are you sure? Oh, okay. Right. Come here. Okay, we'll get you to the other side. Right when? Right now. And what about payment? What you did to Rice, that's more than enough payment for us. Go to the collapsed tunnel that led to Old Town. Knock at the door that leads to the sewers. 
Someone will take good care of you. Will do. Thanks. Nah, man. Thank you. First, Jenk was reluctant to even talk to me, but after I mentioned what I did to Rice, the Saviors decided to give me a hand. They helped me get to Sector Zero. Crane? Yeah, that's me. Good to meet you. I'm Hazan. I'm going to be helping you change your scenery. So did you take Jade through too? Who? She's from here. Dark hair, pretty, tough as nails. Uh, maybe. Don't know. We don't always ask names. Okay, from here on out, you're on your own. The route is marked. I'll stay in touch over radio. It's been a pleasure, my friend. We need to do this one by one. And this man needs to go first. But he just got here. We've been here for hours. I don't make the rules. Wait here. Keep the route clear, but there may be some infected here and there. 
Shouldn't be a problem for you, though. Oh. <laughs> 
sorry, but uh, I had no choice. Rise has me by the balls. What? What did you do? But I had to. What can I say? The world is an unforgiving place. Where are they? Hey. Ah! Reckon, do you copy? Crane here. What's going on, mate? Tell everyone to stay away from the saviors. They sold me out to Rice. I barely made it out alive. Shit. I hope you're okay. Be sure to contact Troy when you get to Sector Zero. She's the only friendly face you have over there. Got it. Will do. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Savior's my ass. The bastards are working with rice. 
They ambushed me and I barely got past them. So much for trusting people. Okay, here goes nothing. Jade, it's Crane. Do you copy? Jade, it's Crane. Can you hear me? Damn it. All right. It's time for some local talent. Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane? It's great to hear from you. What can I help you with? Yeah, I'm in your neck of the woods now, and I'd love to put our heads together. Where can I find you? You're here? In the Zero? <laughs> Fantastic. Have you seen a pair of towers, one taller than the other, with scaffolding around them? We call that our loft. Head that way, and we'll be waiting. Dr. Camden, do you copy? Crane here. Camden, can you hear me? Crane? Yes, yes, I hear you. What's going on? Mind Sector Zero, is Jade with you? No, she hasn't been able to reach me yet. And even if she does manage to get here, it won't be easy getting in. I had to barricade myself inside because of rise in his thugs. You okay? Trapped inside my lab, but safe. You coming my way? Not yet, Doctor. First I have to find Jade and recover Zero's research. Okay. Sit tight, then. Not like there's anywhere for me to go. Be careful out there, Crane. Hey, you're Crane, right? Yeah, that's me. I'm Michael. Troy's waiting for you in the loft. Good to have you here, Crane. Crane! <laughs> It's a pleasure, mate. Uh, I'm Savvy. Need anything technical? I'm your man. I've almost rigged a way to break through the comm jamming. Come on, say hello to Troy. Hey, I'm Kyle Crane. It's good to finally put a face with the voice. You're looking for Jade Aldemir, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Have you seen her? I mean, you know where she is? Jade. This is Troy. Do you copy? Go ahead, Troy. Jade? Hey, it's Crane. Now, I know you're headed for Dr. Camden, but his clinic's surrounded by zombies and Rice's thugs, so just let me come and help you. Crane, stay away from me. I hear your voice, and all I can see is my brother. Please, just hear me out, okay? Look, the thing is, the GRE hired me, all right? I was supposed to find out where Rise sent this, this classified file, but... But that doesn't matter anymore because the Ministry contacted me. Jade, they were going to firebomb the city, but I talked them into waiting because they want that research that you're carrying. Now we need to figure out some way to let them know that we've got it. Bastard. You bastard! Jade! Jade! Damn it. Crane, the last time I spoke to her, she was at the university. It's due east from here. If what you just said is even a little bit true, you will have to find her. <clears throat> Crane, uh, one more thing. Troy. Savvy has an idea how to break through the radio jamming and contact the outside wall. He'll be working on that while you're busy looking for Jane. I'll be in touch. And if I may make a suggestion, avoid the infected if you can, okay? They've always been dangerous, but now they're mutating into something even more deadly. Hey, buddy. Have you seen a woman named Jade Aldemir? She's got long, dark hair. She's tough as nails. Yeah, she was talking to... What's his name over there? Thanks. Jade? Jade! Are you here? Who are you? What do you want? No sign of Jade. Damn it. Hey, 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 can you help me? I'm looking for a young woman, dark hair, petite, takes no shit from anyone. 
Her name's Jade Aldemir? Yes, she was here. You didn't miss her by too much. She waited around for a while with a big scowl on her face, and then took off. God damn it, did she, did she say where she was going? No. But your crane, right? She left this for you. That's a mirror. Why would she have left me this? Well, I can't say for certain. But she did ask me to tell you, not again. Don't know what that's supposed to mean. Want a deal? Jade, this is Quain. Do you copy? Jade, can you hear me? Troy, this is Crane. Do you copy? Great. I was just about to contact you. Sally broke through the jamming and... I think you better get back here. You have to see this. Why? What do I, what do I have to see? You have to see it for yourself. Just get back here, all right? I'm serious. No matter how many times I watch it, I still can't believe it. An internal global relief effort document surfaced today that, if verified, implicates the GRE in a far-reaching criminal conspiracy. Instead of trying to find a cure for the Haran virus, according to the file, the GRE had plans to weaponize it and sell it to the highest bidder. Worldwide backlash has... No, no, skip to the important bit. I was the last survivor left in the quarantine. I can't believe I made it out. I can't believe I'm still alive. We mourn all those who didn't survive. But as the president said in a speech here earlier today, life is for the living. Military troops have searched for survivors all over the quarantine, but now there's no one left besides the infected. According to Colonel Tanner, once his decontamination process is finished, the infection will be completely obliterated. Ministry did this. <laughs> They're making their excuses to the rest of the world for destroying a city. Look, Crane, before you go charging out of here, we already had an idea of how to send a message. We were going to plant explosives in a building and set off fires in a pattern, something the zombies could never do. Trouble is, we got the runner, Michael, over to the right building, but he can't get through to the top floors. Too many biters. As much as I hate to admit it, none of the rest of us are strong enough to do this job. Well, we've got to do something right fucking now, or you, me, Jade, and everybody else are going to get blown to bits. I tell Michael I'm on my way, and while I'm doing that, can you get in touch with Jade? Try to get her to meet me. You have my word. find Michael. Whatever the embers have in mind, if it stands any chance of working, I, I've got to make it happen.
shit! Oh shit! <gasps> Fuck! Oh, I thought you were a biter. Why you gotta sneak up on a guy like that? Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I didn't mean to scare you, Michael. Okay, ooh, okay. Troy said you were on your way. God, I'm glad she didn't see me jump like that. She'd never take me seriously. Got a little crush, huh? How could I not? Have you met her? That's why I volunteered for this. Wait, so you're risking your life with a horde of flesh-eating zombies to impress a girl? Mate, before the outbreak, the most impressive thing I'd ever done was win a spelling bee, okay? Troy would have never even looked at me, so I'll take my opportunities where I can. All right, fair enough. Tell me what needs to happen here. Uh, well, okay, um, I tried to finish the job, but I couldn't get past the ninth floor. All right, leave it to me. What needs to happen is you take these explosives, turn on the gas ovens, and plant charges in a few specific apartments. Well, that'll make a pattern, huh? One nobody outside Haran can mistake as random. If they can explain this shit away, we are all gonna be really fucking impressed. Now, if you're ready, your first stop is on the 10th floor. Yeah, yeah, for now. Michael, I'm on the 10th floor. Great. Look for apartments 105, 106, 134, and 137.
Okay, I'm done with the first apartment. Good work. Get to the next one. Second apartment's done. Damn, you're better at this shit than I am. Next you need... Oh, shit. What's wrong? Michael! I've got some company here. I'll oh, get back, you bastards! Michael, get out of there! Get to safety! No, I can hold him off. You've got to finish the job. I'm not going anywhere until this is done.
detonator now. Let's see what this is all about. Jade? Crane. Jade, J is that you? Crane, I heard what you did. I see what you did. Okay, so, do you believe me now that I'm on your side? <laughs> Sons of bitches! You've got to contact the GRE. They must stop the Ministry from bombing the city. Look, I know, but I lost my one and only way to reach them. Guys, listen. Savvy's figured out a way to break through the jamming. He just needs your help to do it. Okay, Jade, you heard that? We have to meet. Yeah. All right. Meet me in that red building on Emerald Canal. We'll go from there. And Crane, be careful. The infected here are even more ferocious than the ones in the slums. Jade! Jade! Troy, this is Crane. Rise has taken Jade. He, he has her in some museum somewhere. Do you know what he's talking about? Museum, yes. Rise is using it as his headquarters. Crane, you can't go there. That place was built as a fortress. You'd be walking into a massive trap. No, no, no. It's not subtle enough to be a trap. There's got to be a way to sneak in, right? I mean, some way to surprise him? Let me think. Uh, Tariq, maybe? He's the museum's curator. He should know something about the dungeons hidden beneath the fortress. Great. I'll talk to him. All right. There's a building with a rooftop garden. You'll find Tariq there. And listen. If you get the chance, find yourself some new weapons. You'll need them. <clears throat> Tariq? What do you want? We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Oh, relax. Troy sent me. Troy? Oh, thank God. I've been a nervous wreck since I found this kid. He's got nobody to look out for him. But I'm not so good with kids, you know. That's not why I'm here. But Troy promised she'd send someone. I need to get into the museum. The museum? But Troy told me someone would come to help. She promised. Okay, Tariq, you tell me how to get into the museum, and maybe I can sort out your problem here, okay? Rise controls the museum. He would kill you on sight. Well, then I can't have him see me. Now, Troy said you used to be the curator, and that if anybody would know a way in, it'd be you. So, how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? <laughs> no. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. It will most likely isn't definitely, so... 
Guess I'll give it a try. Jade's being held hostage at the museum. The choice is the place was originally built as a fortress, and now it's Rice's biggest outpost in Sector Zero. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt, or killed, or worse. This again! Oh. <sighs> Troy? I hear you. I'm in. That was the easiest part of this. You realize that, right? You really suck at pep talks, Troy. Not my job, but good luck.
We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys, move it! Go, go, go! <sighs> Fucking day!
Jen. Find her, Gray. Come on. She won't wait for you forever. Not now. Oh, please, not now. Jade? Oh, shit. Oh, shit, what have they done um, to you? Fine, Crane. Tahir knocked me over the head before he dumped me in here. Just... 
Give me a minute. Oh, I'll be right as rain. You do not have the luxury of a minute, Scorpion. In fact, what little time you have, you owe to me. Thanks to your repair of my antennas, Crane, I've listened to every word any of you have said. How do you suppose I found you, Miss Aldemir? Or the good Dr. Camden? How do you think I broke the connection between the sectors? I am the director of this film. And now that I have Zera's research, the GRE will do as I command them, which renders the two of you useless. Tahir! You took a French train, as I recall. It'd be referred to as a French man. But look at you now. Dancing for our amusement. Not strong enough to have joined you, but you lack the proper character. Consider this a character strengthening exercise. Let's get out of here. Oh, Jade, are, Jade, are you hurt? Did, they didn't bite you, did they? I'm fine, I'm fine. Just give me a second. Sweet little Jade is far from fine, Crane. She was bitten and infected hours ago. How noble of her to try and hide it from you. Biter got me on the leg. You didn't need to know. Once again, you find yourself with a choice, Crane. Your precious scorpion is about to turn. But so are you. Who will receive the antasy? Who has a hope of living through this encounter? It's up to you now. Jade, here. You take this. No! no come on. Listen, I've still got some in my system. You need this worse than I do. Crane. I just want you to promise me one thing. When the time comes, you're the one who takes me out. What? No, I... Come with me! Jade, I, I can't... Jade, where are you? Jade? I need you to hear me, Crane. Crane. Crane, can you hear me? Jade, where are you? Jade? I need you to hear me, Crane. to try and save me. Not everybody would have offered that vial the way you did. But it's too late for that now. It's too late for me. I blamed you for Amir's death. I wanted to kill you. But I realized it was time for Amir. It was time for him to go. Tommy! Run! Damn it! Oh, the 
pain. Everybody's life is finite, Crane. You can't deny it. It's pointless. We get here, and eventually we die. And there's Stomach. nothing we can do to change that. The only thing we can do is make what happens in between count. Crane, save these people. Amir's life counted, and now he's gone. Rahim's life counted, and now he's gone. If sacrificing my life means saving everyone in Haram, then that's what I Shit! My head! Don't take that away from me, Crane. I was born premature. The doctors didn't think I was going to live. But I fought. I struggled and I fought. And I worked and worked and worked. I became a champion. I became the Scorpion. I left my mark on the world. God, please. Not now. No. God damn it, no, don't let me do this! Jade, what was that? I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to... One of us has to live, Kyle. You just remember what you promised me. All of this, and still you had your choice made for you. Disappointing, Craig. You, you, you and you. Get in there and kill them. Let's do 
Shot, huh? Oh, shit, this is just the tissue samples. Where's the other package? Go to hell, Crane. Wow, to hear. You know, you're looking pretty fucked up, huh? Yeah, those don't look like the kinds of wounds you recover from. So, then kill me. No, no, I shouldn't. I should just leave you here to suffer. That's what you deserve. Yes, then why don't you? Because you're not the kind of loose end you leave untied. Troy, it's Crane. Crane? You're alive. Troy, Jade... Jade's dead. Oh... I'm sorry. I... I'm really sorry, Crane. I, I mean it. What happened? Jade saved my life, Troy. Again. She died... saving me. Crane, you've still got to call off the Ministry. That's why Jade sacrificed herself, so you could do this. Is Savvy there? Has he figured out how to get a message through? Yes, but to do it, you need to meet me. I have to give you an amplifier that Savvy says can help us break through the signal jamming. I'll wait for you in the safe zone. Halfway to the antenna, but you'll need to mount the amp. Okay, Troy. On my way. You just made a big mistake. Jade and I are both infected, and Rice made us fight for Antison. She... She let me have it. Sacrificed her life for me. And when she turned, I... 
I had to put her out of her misery. First Raheem, now Jade. I swear I'm gonna fucking make Rice pay. Dr. Camden, it's Crane. Do you copy? Crane, good to hear you're still alive. Did you find Jade? Yeah, yeah, I, I found her. Listen, I also found Dr. Zara's tissue samples, and I'll bring them to you, but first there's something else I need to do. Okay, Crane, but remember, we don't have a lot of time. I know, Doc, but I'm about to buy us time. I'll be in touch. So, what do I have to do? You need to install it at the highest place possible. That way we'll have the best chance to break through. Okay, so let me guess. I need to head out to that giant antenna tower at the edge of town? The fastest way is through the sewers. Savvy will guide you over the radio. So contact him when you get to the other side. And Crane, when you install the amp, make sure to set the correct frequency on your radio. Pull this off, and the entire world will hear you. Let's hope so. See you, Troy. Make sure the signal is strong enough to get past the jamming. Installing the amplifier on the tallest antenna tower in Haran should do the trick. Hopefully. Savvy says the safest way there is through the sewers. Come <laughs> on. 
kid? No way. Okay, how to get from here to up there. I gotta find a ledge or something.
Beautiful weather. Oh, this must be the place. One day I'm gonna do this and end up landing on a bag of rusty knives. I just know it. Hey, Sav, are you there? Uh, yeah, man. You okay? I'm above ground and still in one piece. Oh, good. Now listen, you'll need the key card to the substation. Otherwise, there'll be no power to the antenna. Okay, where do I get this card? You'll have to search the containers. It'll be in one of them. Would I have to search the place? You mean the card might not even be here? No, no, it's, it's there, mate. It's just the last guy who tried to do something like this made it into one of the containers before we, um, lost contact with him. These fuckers again. Finally! Got it. Savvy, I got the key card. Great. Now go to the substation. It's close to the antenna mast, inside the fence. Use the card to get inside. Oh, my God. 
Savvy, I'm in. Okay, good. Turn on the transformer. the top. No sweat. Got it.
course, it waits till I'm all the way up here to stop raining. Anyone who can hear me, please listen. My name is Kyle Crane, and I'm sending this message from inside the Huron quarantine. Colonel Tanner and the Ministry of Defense have lied to you. There are still survivors inside the walls. They plan to firebomb Huron, but if those bombs drop, you will know Tanner and the Ministry are cold-blooded murderers. Holy shit, there's someone alive in the quarantine zone? Hey, do you copy? Do you copy? It's Squadron! That was too close. Crane, is that you? Do you copy? How the hell do you want? We want to offer you a chance to get out of that horrible place. Oh yeah? And why would you do that? I never found out who had your precious file. You don't even have to pay the rest of my fee. Water under the bridge, Kyle. We're best off just to move past that. All you need to do is to bring Dr. Zara's research with you, and we'll send a nice, safe helicopter to extract you. You realize I know what was in the file. I knew you were going to exploit the virus. Crane! Oh my god. You need the cure now for spin, don't you? That's the only way you could get out of this. Try to convince everyone you were working toward a cure the whole time. Don't be ridiculous. Bring us the research, and everything will be fine. You want the research? Just fucking wait for my signal. Savvy, you there? The amplifier's installed. Brilliant, Crane. Now just zip line down. That tunnel I mentioned is near where you land. Fuck, no, no, no! Yeah, nothing can go wrong with this plan.
I got a message out to the world, and just in time. The Ministry's bombers peeled off and left. But then the GRE contacted me. Seems they want me to get Dr. Zera's research together and give it to them, so they can convince the world they've been working on a cure instead of a way to profit off people's misery. Fuck that. I've got other plans. Yes! Dr. Camden, this is Kyle Crane. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Are you on your way? I'm ready to work. Just bring me the samples. That's exactly what I intend to do, Doc. Just remember, I'm surrounded by an army of infected. Affirmative. Expect me soon. Good. Not like I'm going anywhere. It's me. Name's Crane. Use the elevator. Push the button for the bottom floor. Got it. Zara's research, Dr. Camden might actually have a chance to develop a cure. I was sad to hear about Dr. Zara. He and I were thrilled to get the chance to study the Haran virus. And not to mention, the GRE paid us quite handsomely. Oh, by the way, we're on backup power now, so we have minimal functionality. I needed extra power for my last experiment, and the generators overheated and shut down.
All right, now go down the main corridor. The lab is on the left. When the outbreak happened, Sarah and I stayed in the quarantine to work on the cure. You know who was supposed to protect us? Kadir Suleiman. Rise himself. <laughs> that worked out just perfectly. Okay, the only way into the lab is through the decontamination room. The entrance is to the right. Everything went straight to hell after Rise's brother died, you know. Rise went from a guy with monstrous tendencies to a full-blown monster. You'll have to run the decontamination protocol to unlock the doors. It won't work without full power, though, and that's where the generators come in. Head to the offices. Once you're there, I'll point you in the right direction. All right, I'm on it. Zara and I got to safety with the help of a GRE operative, a, a man very similar to you. The operative who helped us was supposed to evacuate alongside us, but you can, uh, you can guess how well that worked out. Zara and I both got stuck here. Oh, be extra careful now. I never cleared the infected from that part of the facility, as I never had reason to go in there. Separated from the two of them, but uh, I made it here to this clinic. I, I really had no other option than to work on finding a cure. Watch it. I'm opening the door.
job. All right, now head back to the decontamination room. You know, I suspect even if Zara had been able to leave the quarantine, he wouldn't have. He and the operative both felt the need to stay and help people. Rain. Glad to be finally shaking hands with you. Now, let's have those tissue samples, shall we? Hey, Doc, you mind if I show you a photo? No, 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 just, just, just one minute. Was it you wanted to say? Hey, that's him. That that that's the GRE operative I was telling you about. What's his name? Amir. Yes, yes, Amir Goreshi. What are you doing with a picture of him? We uh, we had a mutual friend. The samples are still viable. That's good. With some luck, your trip here won't have been for nothing. Uh, where's the rest of the data, by the way? I know Zara prepared two packages. Yeah, I'll have to get back to you on that, Doc. Right now I have some GRE shitheads to confront. GRE? Brain, you watch yourself around them. Their public face is a lie of epic proportions. Those people are all heartless, lying bastards. I hear you, Doc. And thanks. I'll be in touch. Camden. He was very excited to see Zara's samples. He says if he can get the rest of Zara's data, there might actually be hope of finding a cure. Listen, Crane, I gotta reiterate. You better watch your back, your front, and both sides with those GRE bastards. They'll screw you if they get the chance. I know, Doc. I'll be careful. I just need to figure out where things stand.
Troy, I give the samples to Dr. Camden. Now I'm gonna go have a little talk with the GRE. And what are you going to tell them? Everything. I'll meet you later, Troy. This is Crane, do you copy? Kyle Crane, you can hear me, can you not? Rise, where are you? Exactly where I should be, atop my own tower. Of course, mine is not quite complete, but... It still stands as a monument to chaos, to entropy, to what it means to be ruled only by oneself. I'll kill you for what you did to Jade. For everything, I'll fucking kill you! I had hoped that would be your attitude. You see, we are at war, you and I. A war of opposing philosophies. A war to see whose vision of the world proves true. Come, Gray. Come and challenge me. What is it you Americans are so fond of saying? I dare you. You know what? Forget it. There is no war. There's only your fucked up outlook. Go to hell. Oh, no, 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 no. I won't be going to hell. I will be leaving Arango, you see. I have made a deal with our GRE brothers. You see, you're very old communicator, no less. They know I have all of Dr. Zera's research data. They call it the keys to the kingdom. Very shortly, a helicopter will come and take me away. Imagine the damage I shall be able to do outside the confines of these walls. Of course, if you think you can stop me. You crazy son of a bitch! That is what I had hoped to hear. Come and find me, Crane. Let us finish what we began. Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it.
Rice made a deal with the GRE. Now he's about to escape from Haran with the rest of Zara's research. I can't let that happen, and Rice knows it. What the hell? I knew you could not resist, Craig. Oh, would you just shut up? You're the last thing I want to hear. What? Hear me? What a brilliant idea. <laughs> Much better. It is fitting that an orchestra plays when kings clash.
Let me offer you a bit of a compliment. The music of suffering, played by slaves. Perfect for a slave. Come on, come on, faster, goddammit. Shot. What the fuck is going on? This is what we get for trying to make a living. Rice betrayed us all. Yeah, I'm on my way up there, Kareem. I'm gonna kill that motherfucker with my bare hands. Not this way. We've laid mines on the two floors above us. Go through the second block as high as you can. And you can come back. you better when he didn't talk so damn much. But I consider it a matter of, let us call it, leveling the playing field. That is a term you can understand, yes?
inside for you. It is a club I mean to disband. So, face to face again. I guess that means I don't need this anymore. With or without it, Suleiman, you're dead. Come now, Crane. Do not pretend you don't care. How many lives depend on this disc? Hundreds, thousands, perhaps billions. <clears throat> But one thing, Crane. Suleiman is dead. He died with his brother in this city. You don't even belong here, Crane. You don't know what suffering is. You want me to make my own rules? Rule number one, you're gonna spend the rest of your goddamn life in fucking agony. Do not leave me like this, Kren. Prove you are a man. God. Take your vengeance. Well, you just shut the fuck up!
Rise already told us he had that dead scientist data. All we're interested in is the cure. We're offering you a chance here. Get the rest of the research and come with us. And I can think of a lot of reasons to tell you to go fuck yourself, but why don't we just pretend for a minute that you don't think I'm stupid? You need the cure. It's here, in the city, somewhere. And as long as it is, you won't try to pull any ministry-style bullshit. Pray, why do you even give a fuck what happens to these people? You don't belong here. This is just a job for you. No, not anymore, it's not. I'll be in touch when I've decided what to do next. Yeah, Doc, I hear you. What's going on? The analysis just finished on the tissue samples. The results are... Well, I don't think the word phenomenal is too strong. Crane, if you can recover Zara's data, I'm certain a cure is within reach. All right. Hey, we'll talk about it next time I see you. and wait until dawn. Good night, and good luck. You said he talked about magic and... what? Domesticated zombies? He talked about a group of people who don't no, get don't, infected. Don't, don't, even if they're bitten. Don't, don't. Delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. Th th this looks like... A way out of Haran. Crane, we are running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. Stay away! Stay away! You don't understand. The mother... The mother... Lena, do you copy? Crane, damn it. You're breaking up. Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. Maybe what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. The fever got him. You're on your own, I'm afraid. Lena? Lena! God, fucking mountains.
place looks occupied. More or less. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler? You work for that crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here, just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. I've got my eye on you, stranger. Hi, excuse me. I don't know anything. Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jazir. I forbid it. Father, please. Can't we talk no, about this? No, no. End of discussion. Fine. Fine! Eski! Wait! Eski! Uh, excuse me. Not now, please. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell, why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city, people are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Lena, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn, I want a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Oh, uh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. It's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak, they scribble symbols everywhere, do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Yeah, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? Freaks. What kind of partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, my were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Oh, 
Forgot to tell you, if you ain't got none, find yourself some weapons. The farm's abandoned outpost. Wait, what? You, you forgot to tell me this? Well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no knack for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car. You're looking for Khan? He's gone. I guess they finally asked him to leave. Oh, asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's got to be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints, at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline.
Every new customer is a blessing. You're actually selling something out here? Butter. Crystal clear. No diarrhea afterwards. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for ten pounds of food. We accept gold as well. Ten pounds of food for water? When you start charging for air, too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Tell you what, though. I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. <laughs> fuck him up. Jazir sent me. Well, Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we... All right. Here goes nothing. Cross your fingers. If we did that right, in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the farm again. It's not working. Why is it not working? Oh, shit! Shit! They must have closed it! Equipment's fucking ancient. If the pipes burst, we are all well and truly fucked. I'll get the valve open. Where is it? It's the shit out of me. All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline. For fuck's sake, hurry! Go! I'll keep trying on this end. Go! And hurry! Station. The pipeline ends here. They look for the main barrel, goddammit! How this fucking alarm box shut up!
Ali, I got it. But the place was already flooded, so now what? We just we just wait? Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good? We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. It's a damn miracle. You don't even yeah. know what you just did for us. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Jazir and Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything... Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the mother. Faith? Uh, look, I, I mean no disrespect, but you, you're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, just like the other outsiders. We believe in the mother, and she protects us. We have no need of... Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the Faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this? <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm. And my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle.
They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I'll try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. Keep trying, but be careful. Excuse me, you, uh, you the owner here? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh, that's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to, uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I, I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah, Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is, still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once-over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. be offline.
Oh, shit, sorry. I, I didn't think there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Thieving little son of a bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. I wasn't gonna steal anything. If it's parts you want, it's parts you can damn well buy. Jacob Graves is the name. Kyle Crane. Good to meet you, Kyle Crane. Now listen here. These parts is mine. You want some? I'll sell you some. But ain't nothing for free. All right, understood. So, what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yup. Sounds like Ali. He means well, anyway. So, listen, friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him.
hell's going on here? Well, if it isn't Kyle Crane, great to see you. And this? This is the Mother's blessing. He's one of the faceless. Uh, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but... I do have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You're gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Since you offered, when this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. Mother is life. Mother will help us. Mother is simple. <laughs> Ali, I'm inside. Throwing the switch now. Great. But it didn't work, man. Try to find the main transfer switch. It must be somewhere in there. Please, hurry. I think you're safe now. Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now, and let me hear. 
told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stand guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah. Let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better. back on for good? It's back on for now, but with this old rusty broken-ass equipment, I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned. Kid, what's going on? Where are your parents? Where are you? I hang on, kid. I'm on my way.
Hey, bud, you there? What, what were you and your brothers even doing in here? We were looking for treasure. We came through a hole in the roof. Okay, then tell me exactly where you are. Kid, hey! Hey! I mean, I appreciate the cheering section, but keep that up and I'll be drowning in biters down here. Big guy! 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 Hey, I'm serious! Shut up, guys! Get you guys out of here. He killed him? Oh no! No! He killed the big guy? What? What? I've had about enough of your little game, fellas! He found the keys! Go! Go! This is Crane. I got one of your missing people here. Deceased. Shit, how many people have they fed to the big guy already?
Jazeera, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer. Hey, Jazeer. Those bandits who took over Erkan's farm. Aren't you afraid they're going to target you guys next? Here we can handle them. We're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat, too. He used to work at Erkam's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you. Polat, I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. 
After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazir said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. Eski, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Khan. 
Just kill me. Why? How could they? Er Aircon, is that you? Coward. Kill me! Hey, Aircon! What could I do? Hey, you're safe, man. Get a grip. Your daughter's alive. Shoot me, please. I want to join them. Coward. Aircon, your daughter is alive. She's at Jazir's farm. She needs you. Coward. For fuck's sake. Jazir, are you there? Look, I don't know how this happened, but Erkan is alive. He's a wreck, though. Her cat's alive? And you really did get rid of those bandits? Listen, he doesn't know me, and I, I can't get through to him. He's in deep shock. Look, the farm's clear, so I don't know. Maybe you could ask your guys to bring him back? Of course, of course. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Just as I promised. The bandits are no threat now. Thank you. You did more for her than anyone else in this godforsaken place. Look, Eski, I... I've seen a lot. The only thing I can tell you is eventually it... it will start to hurt a little less. Don't patronize me, Kyle. You think she's the only friend I've lost since the outbreak? It's terrible. I'm getting so numb it almost doesn't hurt anymore. At least this one will get her father back. Erkan's alive. They'll bring him here. Oh? He survived? Well, I guess she'd have been a little bit happier if only she'd heard that. Though... Though what? N nothing much. Just a, a thought. I just wonder why before she told me what happened to everyone else, but didn't say a word about him. Look, I just want to help. Then we are allies now. But it's not enough. Hey, I don't understand. Just wait.
on. What the hell did they do to you? I had been shown the end of my ways. They had opened my eyes to the truth, to the light. Holy shit. Talk about drinking the Kool-Aid. Mother, blessed by the sun, we praise you. Mother, embraced by the wind, we trust you. Mother, radiant with grace, come to us. Children of the sun, accept the mother's gift and stay true to her path. Suffering, the mother thanks you. What, what, what is this? So, so the biter that didn't attack me, I, I dreamed that? The biter was real, but don't try it again. You're not protected by Mother's aura anymore. However, your soul and blood have been cleaned. Your resistance to the virus will last as long as you stay on the right path. Put your faith in the Mother. Continue what you started, and your questions shall be answered. We will contact you. Lena? Come on, come on, Lena! Kyle! Kyle! Lena, thank God. Listen, listen to me. I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm immune. I saw her, the, the mother. She spoke to me. I was... I was in like a, like a trance, and the, the zombies, they didn't attack me. Lena? Hello? Get off! 
upgrade. for. Uh, so, the kid's package isn't here. Maybe it was already out for delivery. This looks like a clue.
Hey, Jazeer. I got that kid's present. Can you get it to him? You risked your life to make a child happy. All I can say is, thank you. Jazeer, that was one cryptic message. I didn't want to get into details over the radio. One of the men from town just died from the water poisoning. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yes, we all were. He was military. And he asked us to give away all of his possessions. The last thing we have left is this card. I don't know what its purpose is. That's a military key card. I mean, if it's properly authorized, it could open any military electronic lock. Well then, here. You take it. Maybe it'll help you. Besides, we wouldn't even know what to look for. Yeah, thanks, Jazeer. Jazeer, what's wrong? What's, what's going on? We don't have a clue. Everything seemed all right, and suddenly people started feeling sick. I hope you'd know something about it. Well, I don't, but I'll see if I can figure out what's going on. up in the mountains. Oh, please. You've been here this whole fucking time. I ain't lying. I give up! Turn off that flashlight. All right. All right, Chief. You got it. But I've seen this uniform before. You're what's left of Ryze's gang, huh? We're... I, I don't know. Exactly. They didn't tell me. I just joined. Quit lying, asshole. What are you fuckers doing out here? I don't know. I don't know! You understand, I'm a hair away from killing you, right? Okay. Okay. I'll talk. But all I know is... The boss had a plan. Poison the water supply, loot everybody. We brought some corpses, threw them in the water. Jesus, you sick bastards. Who's your boss? Where is he? I don't know. I, I told you, I just joined. I didn't want to do it, I swear. Yeah, just following orders? Let's find out what Jazeer has to say about that. See if he's in the mood to hear excuses. Come on, Chief, don't do it. They'll fucking lynch me. I'm not gonna die. Not like that!
It is here. I'm at the pumping station. Send some people here ASAP. And don't let anyone drink this water. What happened? Some bandits threw corpses into the water. Clean out the bodies and the water should clear up again. You got that? Of course. Thank you. We'll take care of it as soon as possible. Tell me about this Sabic guy. Before the outbreak, what was his job? He was a forest ranger. A proud and brave man. Always said he felt better in the company of animals and people. Yeah, I think I know the type. So he was a natural fit for the faceless? No. That idea came later. He wasn't a believer at first. It was only when he received the mother's blessing that he decided to help her achieve her goals however he could. And that's when he started bringing you medicine? Taking care of some of the needs of our community, yes. And he still lived in the hut? That's... It's quite a commute, especially on foot. And that's what was special about Sabbat. He just wasn't afraid. Not of monsters. Not of the dark, even. He wandered around in the night as if it were nothing special. Thin line between bravery and madness, huh? Jazeer, there's a goddamn volatile hive under this hut. Half of Sabat's stuff ended up down in a cave. I'll check it for those herbs you wanted, but I doubt he's still alive. That's the end of it, then. Don't you dare go in there yourself. Those hives are certain death. Wait, I think I heard something.
This is what you needed, right? It is. This will help a lot. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. Don't worry. At least we know what happened to him. And it's no shame to die that way. Olga told you it was Crane. Are you sure? He looks weird. He always looks weird. Crane, we did it! We flew! But not with the jetpack. But we found a plane instead. Almost in good condition. Had to make a few adjustments to it. And the gasket broke. All the oil leaked out. The engine seized up. We had to jump out. But Mr. Dahl, our boss... Whoosh! He flew all the way to the west. You have to find him, Crane. Well, you two actually care about someone else. Oh, you wound us, Mr. Crane. Also, Mr. Dahl is a billionaire. He'll make us rich. All right. How am I supposed to find him? Simple. Mr. Dahl has a transmitter in his backpack. That's our uh, insurance. You know, in case he tried to screw us over. Can't trust anyone, you know. Take that tracking device. The beeping will be faster the closer you are to the transmitter. And when you get back, we'll tune this tracking device so that you'll be able to find other things. Tolga, tell him. Everything that's chipped, Crane. And these days, a lot of things are chipped, aren't they? Military equipment, for example? But first, Mr. Dahl. Go for it, Crane. You can do it. We believe in you. You have to say things like that to people like him, you know. Just a few unlucky people trying to get out of Haran. Did anyone survive? Are they dangerous? Yeah, two survivors, but no, they're just a pair of suicidal mad scientists. More dangerous to themselves than anyone else. 
Scientists, you say? The mother would like you to keep an eye on them, just in case. Guys, I found Dahl's transmitter. See, Tolga? Told you he was going to find him. Pay up! Wait, Craig, is Mr. Dahl all right? That's hard to say. Ha! He's dead! You lose, Patin! I don't know if he's dead, guys. I just found his backpack. No sign of the man himself. Any ideas? We're geniuses. Of course we have ideas. We're prepared. Not that we didn't trust the man, but he has another transmitter in one of his shoes. Set the tracking device to your second channel and move on with your investigation. Oh, you're not Vulcan Doll. Was I supposed to be? Where did you get those boots? Hey, he didn't need them anymore. Lay off. Did you kill him? Where is he? Hey, he turned. I killed a monster, not a human. Shit. Where? Shot him straight through the head. No, you idiot. Where is his body? Oh, not far from here. Listen, I can pay you for these boots if they're so important to you. No problem. Just forget it. Guys, I found Dahl. Patine, Tolga, you there? Where'd you go? God damn it. Help! We're surrounded! Oh, scream louder, Fatine. Maybe they'll figure out where. The train! On the bridge! Ah! Go away! Tell them we have portable photon throwers. A photon thrower? That's just a flashlight, Tolga! As if they know what photons are. Bastards! Tolga, cover me! With what? A stick? Get away from that door! Ilum, that's you? Uh, here, brought you something from the post office. Are you kidding? That's great. Wow. For fuck's sake, you brought me my power bill. Well, don't get mad at me. I don't read other people's mail. I didn't know what it was. Ah, fuck it. It's not like I'm gonna pay it. Polar, I found a letter addressed to you in the post office. Holy shit, really? Thank you. Wonder what it's about. Um, I hate to ask, but I can't read. My wife always read this stuff for me, but now that she's gone, 
Would you mind? Oh, yeah, no, no problem. Okay, let's see. You sure you want me to read this? I mean, it's a personal letter. Yes, please. Okay, so... <clears throat> Polot, you damned son of a bitch. Don't you even think about dying out there. If I find out you were killed by a zombie, I'll fucking haunt you in the afterlife. Your ass is mine. Love, Talo. <laughs> oh, damn. I miss that man. Uh, pardon? Talo. That's my brother. Haven't seen him for months now. Wonder if he's still alive. Thank you so much for bringing me this. So, you don't think Air Khan was there when it happened? No. No, I don't. All right, so what then? I didn't know him personally, but I've heard people talking throughout the years. He wasn't the bravest of men before the outbreak. Well, I did find him in a cellar. You think he was hiding the whole time? Well, I didn't say that. It's possible, though. That's... it's hard to believe. What's hard to believe? That someone wouldn't want to die when he doesn't stand a chance in a fight? Someone would abandon his family, his, his loved ones, in a situation like that. I don't know, Kyle. I wish I knew what I really think about this, but I don't. But I don't know. I don't have an opinion. Just, would you... I would really like to think for a while. Alone. Uh, excuse me, Sarah. I found something for you at the post office. Are you serious? I mean, thank you, but why did you bring this all the way here? I just thought it might be important. Well, for a moment there, I felt like, like everything was normal again. Like this nightmare never happened. Thank you. Truly. Hey, no problem. Take care. Try to clear this place out. Uh, get them, Crane! Right man in the right place. In his natural environment. A uh, Crane, what's taking you so long? Yes, is it killing your speciality? Uh, let's not distract him or he'll shoot himself in the foot. Yes, right. Focus, Crane. For the win. Something that will inspire you. I did that for you.
All right, it's clear. You can come out. Now we're in one of these carriages. Don't shoot. Knock three times and we'll let you in. Tolka, are you crazy? Don't ask him to do math. That's not the proper knock. Go away. It's me, fuckers. Let him in, Fatin. It's him. You were right. He can't come to three. What the hell are you guys doing in here? A secret project. Don't talk about it, Fatin. You know people like him just repeat everything they hear? But he might be useful later. Then we'll tell him when he becomes useful. Maybe we should let him stay here. Proximity to us can only raise his intelligence. Now, your generosity is overwhelming, but I believe you promised me something earlier. You're underestimating us, Crane. We did it remotely, just a moment ago. Now this device will react to anything that's cheap. And when something's cheap... Then usually it's pretty valuable. Unless it's your neighbor's dog. Now let's get down to business, Tolga. Time to start the project. We'll be in touch, Craig. Take care. Strange phenomenon doesn't even come close. What do you mean, brother? I mean, there was this huge ass demolisher just standing there in the field, didn't even notice me. And this weird mist, too, like what you guys had at the ceremony. Oh, well, that's an interesting development. Brother, I can't really tell you right now, but we can just see as far. So, I believe you are ready. Good to see you again, brother. This time, though, I fear I carry some bad news for you. Yeah, well, I'm used to that by now. What's going on here? Kyle, you already knew, didn't you? People not getting infected, that it's just smoke and mirrors. It is the smoke, literally. Our mother found a way to fight the sickness using a certain, let's call it an elixir. 
You have seen it working with your own eyes. So you do have a cure? Would you call a bandage on an open wound a cure? No! What we have right now is just a temporary solution. We are working on a certain curative project. One with more permanence. But we need time, and we need peace to last for just a bit longer. Now let me guess, you're running out of this elixir. Unfortunately, yes. That's why I asked you to come here. I want to offer you a deal. Find us more of it, and a fair portion will be yours. The mother will teach you how to use it. You'll be able to return to Haran with your prize, or perhaps you'll choose to stay with us. It seems like you've got an idea of where to look for this stuff. A lot of our brothers were out searching for it, and recently we lost contact with three of them. They were supposed to check a certain cave. Your seeing the mist cannot be a coincidence. It must have been spillage. Seems that someone found the elixir and ran away with it. All right, so check out the cave. Got it. Farewell, brother. I hope the news you bring back is good. Listen good while this damn thing works. I know what's going on. They have something a hundred times better than Antizen. And the good news, they'll share it with me. The bad news, I need to find it. Now, I know the clock's ticking, but I can't let go of this yet. It's the best chance for all of us. I understand, Kyle, but please, please hurry. Run out of Antizen. More reason for me to get this done. Keep your fingers crossed. are undamaged. All right, then where are they? Mayday, mayday. This is very We will to Holy fuck, Rises men?
That's one of them. Okay, second one's dead too, no surprise there. Are you there? I'm at the cave you mentioned, and I found two of your brothers dead. I also heard a distress call. It mentioned some goods that aren't here. So they were stolen. All right. Please keep investigating. We'll try to gather some information about the third brother. Listen, be on the lookout for orange uniforms, or, or a symbol, three horizontal stripes. Excuse me? The bandits in here. These are Rise's thugs. They're worse than the undead. What happened in Haran? That's mostly their fault. Thank you, Kyle. I'm sure that information will prove useful. Necessary, right? Yes, please. Mother would very much like this man to finish what he started. Okay, who is it? His name is Attila. He's an ethnographer, working in the mother's mansion. It's that big residence at the top of the cliff.
Okay, I'm listening. There, in there, that's my child. Don't, don't let him die of hunger. Don't let him suffer. Nice crossbow. You boys hunting something? Yeah, a goddamn monster that's been stealing our food. I shot it, but it ran and hid in this cave. Did you not see it in there? Probably for the best, since it was wounded and all. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. Have you come to kill me? Fine. Go ahead. My name's Kyle Crane. The mother's worried about you, Attila. She sent me to check on you. Make sure you're okay. I am most certainly not okay. You can tell her that there will be no book. I've hit a wall. I'm just a dying old man, not Indiana Jones. Dying? Did you... Did you ask the mother for help? She doesn't have the cure for cancer, I'm afraid. My days of field work are over. The problem is, and I'll quote Hamlet here, everything is fucked up. Come, sit. Have a drink with me, Mr. Crane. Listen, if it's the field work that's stopping you, just... I can go out and get whatever you need. I don't know what you're researching, but the mother really wants it finished. Hmm. You'll bring me anything I need, you say? Yeah, sure. Just make a list. 
It would certainly help if my electricity were restored. If I'm going to do this, I'll be looking at some very long nights. Well, I can take care of the power, but you're on your own for coffee. Get your electricity back, Attila, and now what? Now we can get to work, Mr. Crane. I'm researching traces of the prophecy about the god of the sun in the relics of local culture. It seems like a matter of life and death to the mother, and I'm in no position to ask why. So, now we have three ancient monoliths to investigate. We're looking for specific features, so you'll need to see them in person and describe each one to me. Now that I have the power back on, we can stay in touch while you're out there. But please hurry, Mr. Crane. I won't live forever.
see a monolith, Attila. Describe it, please. There's a painting, looks old. It's got ants moving toward a circle, and one inside the circle has a red head. No, 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 Mr. Crane. Those are not ants. They're meant to represent believers praying to the sun. Whatever. If you say so. The one on the inside is wearing a special ritual mask, if I guess correctly. All right, that is helpful. Please move on. or something pushed it into the water. Attila got a monolith. And? It's underwater, but I can see the remains of a painting. There was, like, a head, I think. Could it have been a mask? Yeah, maybe. Good work, Mr. Crane. Found one of those monoliths. What do you see? A big ass stone, that's what. And also an old painting. It's, it's a sun on top of a mountain, a mountain crossed with a zigzag. Anything else? Yeah, someone added a mere heart's jasmine on the side. Does that help? All right, Mr. Crane, let's move on. Start climbing, I'm afraid. Head to the highest mountain you can find, to a place known as the Temple of the Sun. Attila, I'm at the mountain. What do you see? Just a whole lot of climbing. I did warn you.
train. Not now, Attila. One wrong move and I'm a dead man. But do you see anything? Later, man. Seriously. <sighs> Okay, I'm at the top. It's an awesome view. Let's get to work then, Mr. Crane. <laughs> There's a painting of a bloody blade on one of the monoliths. Anything else? A mask, perhaps? No, should, should I be looking for a mask? With the utmost diligence, Mr. Crane. This is very important. Attila, I found this hole with, I don't know, I guess there are offerings inside it. There's a mask in here, too. Is it red? If it's red, take it with you. Be careful with it. Yeah, it's red. Should I take anything else? There's a lot of stuff in here. No, no, that should be enough. I think you can come back now, Mr. Crane. Here's your mask, Attila. I don't know if it's gonna help with anything. Listen, the mother's obsessed with this prophecy. When the world is ravaged by plague, when darkness devours the earth, when men are as beasts to one another, when humanity shall be struck by corruption of both flesh and soul, then shall be revealed one man who, through an act of ultimate sacrifice, shall accept the mercy of the light. And the God of the Sun shall be revealed through him, and through him will he speak, and his voice shall be the light and the healing and he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. On every remaining painting, the God of the Sun, or a priest attempting to summon him, wears a mask like that one. So, yes, Mr. Crane, I believe you've helped me plenty. You need anything else? Only time, and peace. I have to write everything down. I'll let the Acolytes know that you've helped me. Thank you, Mr. Crane. I'll call you the moment I'm done. Hmm? See you tomorrow, then. You promise? All right. I'll be waiting for you. To you guys? He said he was going to. And he is all right. I helped him with his research. He told me that he has to write everything down now. He said he needs time. Go and find out why he hasn't reached out to us yet. We must be certain that he will finish the task. All right. Kyle, 
What I have done, however it will turn out in the end, will give the mother a better answer to what she's looking for than any research I could have been losing time working on. You see, as a famous ethnographer, I came to Haran on the invitation of the local colonel's wife. The colonel, the mother. These were words spoken around here with utmost respect. Yet for me, after a while, they became just Amir and Jasmine. A happy marriage, if there ever was one. And it was at his request that I stayed behind when all hell broke loose. I was here when he came back to evacuate her. I watched as he got bitten, and when he asked me to stay, I did as he asked. I thought he'd want me to end his suffering. But that wasn't the case. He gave me something that I was supposed to pass to her, only if her state of mind after this tragedy didn't raise my concern. But I never saw her again. I felt rejected. I felt abandoned, and now that I'm about to die, I can't keep the promise. She still won't agree to see me. But you, you're different, Kyle. You have a chance to meet her. There is no other option for me. I have to leave what the Colonel gave me in your hands, Kyle. I know that when the time comes, you will make the right decision. Remember this code, please. 2519-8603. I apologize for any wrongs I have done, and I beg for your forgiveness. Attila H. What the fuck have you done? Hey, it's Kyle Crane. I'm at Attila's house. What's Attila's condition, Crane? Speak. He slit his own throat. He put the mask on and killed himself. Mask? What mask? An old red mask I found at the Temple of the Sun. <sighs> that old fool used you, Crane. What? what? How? To find this mask. We know all about it. That wasn't his task, Crane. Attila was deadly sick. There was a cancer eating his brain. He must have become convinced that if he put this mask on and slit his throat, the God of the Sun would manifest and possess his body. But why? Why, why would he get that in his head? And he shall pass through the gates of death, so that he may bring new life. Attila interpreted that to mean suicide, an error that cost him his life. Take the mask, and try to find the book Attila was writing for us. Take them to Jasir, and we'll take care of the rest. Jazir, please don't ask any questions. Just hand this stuff to the Acolytes when you have a chance. Okay, it's very imp important to the Mother, I know. They told me already. I'll tell them I have it. Kyle, we've received information 
location of a group matching your description. They've occupied the gravery. These bandits took anything from the cave. If they keep our lost brother Orkin somewhere, it's probably right there. Alright, I'll check it. We know it's a huge risk. This might be our last chance to find what we're all looking for. Oh, you got
working. Yes, I'll try to help you. No. Just, just listen. They're following us. One did secure. Didn't know how to open. So, asked about Mother. I told them nothing. Don't talk. Save your energy. I'll get you out of here. Light house. Light. House. Orkin, stay with me. Damn it. It's Crane. The bandits were in the granary. So was Orkin. They captured and tortured him. May the god of the sun accept his soul. Did he tell them anything? I don't know. He said he didn't. He did try to tell me something about the cure. I guess they didn't know how to open it. So some of it remains. So they spilled a lot at that field. Do you have any idea where they could have gone? Orkin said something about the lighthouse. I'll take a look. Thank you, brother. If you find those vials, give us a sign immediately. You'll take it straight to the mother. Lena, I copy. Go ahead. Kyle, can you hear me? Lena? Kyle, please, if you can hear me, you have to hurry. You're going to lose another floor. Lena! Damn it. Fuck, I'm so close. Working with Rise's bandits? Where is it, you son of a bitch? Where the hell is the cure? What? You're crazy! Don't fuck with me, Khan! Where is it? Look, I just live here, all right? I don't know shit about working with bandits. Boss, you here? Hello, can you hear me? Um, who's speaking? Chief, there you are. Okay, listen. Hakan and his group are going after the mob, but some wise ass took out the granary, and we need to hunt him down. We're waiting by your crib. Coming? <laughs> no need, pal. Just keep your eye on the balcony. Wait! Wait! <laughs> Boss! Wait! Listen! I know! I know! I went way overboard, but they forced me! They made me do it! It's Crane! Crane's there! Hawkins Group! Where are they heading? Tell me! To the dam! The priest said the entrance was in the dam! Please! <laughs> I'm fucking done with you.
Find him! Show me the goddamn corpse! This is Crane, do you copy? The vials are gone, I saved only the last few of them, and, and Rice's men are coming to you, do you hear me? Crane, come here fast, come quickly. Hello? Shit, I better hurry. Anybody there? Brother? More fighting. More death. I can't let this happen again. I won't. It's you. Where are the faceless? What, what's happening to me? Why, why, why do I hear your voice inside my head? Children of the Sun, Kyle. They were nothing before the outbreak. Just a half-forgotten tradition. An old world faith long dead. this title for so long now. The Mother. It was meaningless. Until it became all too real. I thought their respect came simply because I was a Colonel's wife. We had a good, cozy life. After the outbreak, my husband came to get me out. We didn't stand a chance against the Horde. We were victim. He bled to death in my arms. He gave me his cigarette case and asked me to run. He didn't want to hurt me. I was dragged away by the relievers. They came for their mother. It took me a while to remember that my husband didn't smoke. I looked inside. There was a map, a key, and a note with numbers. It led us here. Healthy one 
Rebels tried to get the power back on. The rest of us went to look for medicine. Others look to me. They could have held medicine. They could have held poison. I felt a seizure coming. I was about to turn, and I realized why else would my husband leave me here? I loved him. I trusted him. I remember a taste. Acrid, bitter as blood. It might have been blood. Medicine to save my friends. Look at my face. There is no medicine. You want mankind to become what I am? Listen to my voice. Beautiful evolution indeed. Minds and souls connected in a telepathic bond. How horrible. <laughs> Look at me. And when the darkness comes, what then? More death. More killing me. You can hide from others, but who will hide them from you? But we don't we don't have to drink it with just the mist! It doesn't matter. Just listen. We've been breathing the mist. It will take longer, but you're already changing into a monster such as myself. No, wait. Listen! The army built a failsafe into their experiment. This entire region can be purified. The question is, are you ready to sacrifice thousands of lives, Kyle? Yours among them? So what, that's it? Just, just game over. Fuck. Fuck, all right. So what, what do I do? Wake up the god of the sun. Follow me, Kyle. So the, the, the coming of your god means what we all die? And and the plague, it, it dies with us? It always meant that. And he shall pass through the gates of death so that he may bring you life. If, if it kills the plague, I mean I guess it's worth it. This place doesn't look much like the gates of death to me though. Lowry language, isn't it? I was searching for proof, Kyle, for truth in our traditions. But Attila's death shattered my hopes. It was proof. What, that there are no miracles? What's a miracle anyway, Kyle? Becoming a sentient volatile? I'm nothing more than a monster. Becoming a hero during the apocalypse? 
You're just the right man in the right place. So this, this is the fail-safe. What do you need me for? The key I got from my husband worked. But the codes he gave me didn't. I know that's the only way. I just don't know how. Codes? You, no, your husband, he, he had a fail-safe too. He, he left the codes with Attila. So he could decide if you'd stay sane long enough to make a decision. Wait. You have the codes. Attila thought you'd be a better judge. I hope you'll judge me well, though. Let this madness end, Kyle. Please. Thank you. 